Morning, everyone. Hi, Jim. Hi, hey, Robert. Hi, Anushka. Hi. Hi, Jim. Hi, Robert. Hi, Mitsinger. Hi. Hi, Anushka. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. Hi, Jim. How are you? All right. Robert, just checking the agenda. Didn't seem like we had any specific entries or items for today. Um, anything, any other topics you wanted to cover or? No, I, I didn't have a chance to uh, organize any presenters for this week. Uh, I'll try to try to look ahead a couple of weeks and see if we can get uh, someone for them. If not the next session, the session after. I okay. think everyone had heads down with the CFPs anyway. <laughs> right. Hello there. No. Good morning. Morning, Rana. How are you doing? Morning. Hello, Jim. Hello. So I think if uh, yeah, if everyone's here, uh, Jim, do we? If we don't have anything formal on the agenda, do we just want to review? Are there any PRs or issues on the CRD that we need to? Approve or review or? Yes, so we can kind of do a quick update on the CRD projects um, from Manushka. I don't think Steven's able to make this meeting, but if he joins, he can do a quick update as well. And then, um, you know, yeah, the few other things we had carryovers were there were some items. I, I don't know if you had a chance to look at the Zoom account and the YouTube setup, but we need to get that done. Uh, oh, and also, yeah, if you want to start there, I, I'm in a bit of a quandary because what the CNCF folks told me is that I guess everyone's moving to Bevy. So I, I, I didn't want to set up the Zoom account only to move over to Bevy, but I was going to clarify on the 10 a.m. call and see if, if someone could give us definitive guidance as to whether that's a requirement or a suggestion. Yeah, I haven't heard of that. I, I would just maybe get the Zoom setup done for now. And then if, if everyone's migrating over uh, in bulk, then I guess they'll just migrate over all groups. Uh, I can ask, yeah, that, I didn't get that. I, I, it was more, you know, typical, uh, you know, here's the, here's the directive. Now everyone go find their own path to it. <laughs> so, but I'll double check, I'll find out. Okay. And then, yeah, if, if, there is no, if there's no official guidance or that was just a rumor, or, I mean, I did Google around and that there were some blog posts about it, but um, regardless, if, if I don't get clear direct in, then I'll just pull the trigger on Zoom. Yeah, let's go ahead and get that done. Uh, Cause I think, again, we need to update the meeting invites. We need to get these videos done and it's just, um, 
you know, it would be good uh, from a housekeeping point of view to have that done. Right. Yeah. But that, to my point, I, I don't want to do that twice. <laughs> I, I don't think, again, if they're migrating it, it. So this is, you know, again, looking at the SIG life cycle, I would just follow whatever's in this document. Uh, right. Because it goes through, it has all of the checklists, things like that. Yeah, so again, I, think, I, I had done all that before, but anyway, I, I, I'll I'll revisit it. But like I said, I'll, I'll circle around after the 10 a.m. call. Okay. But, uh, if that's the process still, then then I'll I'll do it again, and we'll see where we go this time. Right. Yeah, and you can check with Christoph to see if the Kubernetes, you know, SIGs and working groups are doing anything different. But again, if this is what we're seeing, let's get that set up. And I'm sure again, if they're doing a full account migration, then uh, they'll figure out a way to migrate everyone listed here. Um, but yeah, let's, let's find out and let's see if we can get this done. Let me know if you need anything on, on those two things, because um, I think, again, uh, once we do that, we can update the meeting invites and uh, see if we can get access to these videos, which has been lacking. Yeah, and just to... Uh... I think Brandon did pull the last two presentation videos. Okay, so great. Those are on, uh, if you Google and YouTube uh, for the tag, of course, then you'll see the policy work group videos there, the last couple. Okay. Sounds good. Um, all right, so those are those two issues on the white paper. Uh, I think there is a pending PR um, where Jaya had made some additional changes. So that could be also that's something we can probably review and try and accept uh, before like the white paper subgroup meets again. Um, and I think we should figure out what would be the timeline to get at least a draft um, of the PR available for wider review, right? So we can discuss that a little bit more tomorrow. Sure. All right, um, yes, I think we're good on this. Uh, okay, so then the only other items we can cover uh, are maybe the updates on the uh, mini adapters or you know, integrations for the CRD. So maybe Anushka, if you wanna just provide a quick update on where we are and things done last week. Right. Uh, thank you, Jim. I will quickly just update on what's been happening in the last two weeks. Uh, I I have been able to, uh, you know, uh, have an initial working model ready, which is great because now we just need to alter a few things here and there. And, uh, well, we'd have the Falco adapter. If it's all right, I would just uh, like to share the working demo. Jim, if that's okay? Of course, yeah. I have a 30 second video. I'd just like to share that. Um, right. So, uh, of course, right now I'm taking outputs by a Falco Psychic web UI, but I'll just update on what's happening there. Right, right now, it's simply mapping and giving me a policy report, a very initial kind with the mapping that was discussed earlier with Gus and Jim and uh, others in the community. And uh, yes, there's some initial priority severity logic uh, established, which will of course be changing. And well, that's all. So right, right now I am uh, working on developing a web server which removes the web UI dependency. We are also exploring how we would go about to contributing to Falco Sidekick with Thomas and uh, Dan on the community. And um, yes, otherwise, uh, that's that's really all. That's all I'm up to. Right now, I have a sort of working web server that uh, takes Thomas's fake events generator and uh, tries to give me the JSON, but that's still in the works. So that's all, Jim. Th thank you, everybody. Yeah, so just to uh, on the overall um, direction, I know we've kind of discussed various approaches and there was some uh, at one point, um, you know, there was some discussion with also the Falco team on whether this should go into Falco Sidekick or be standalone. 
So the, I think the latest on that is we're, you know, we're uh, thinking this should become part of Falco Sidekick and a available That's configuration right. there. Right, we're exploring that. Okay. So, so is that uh, not decided yeah. or is that... Um, uh, Thomas has asked me to work on the web server so he can see, uh, I mean, earlier seeing the demo that I just showed, he said that this would, uh, this this could be a contribution to Falco Psychic and he wanted to know a little bit more. So that's okay. why I'm working on the web server right now using his uh, fake events generator. And once he has a better look at that, I think we would know for sure if, uh, you know, that's the direction we take. Got it. Right. Sorry, Murtinja, you had a... Question yeah, or... yeah, no, I just had one doubt, like in this project, like uh, the project looks excellent. The demo also looked like uh, it's a working prototype that we are able to create uh, the policy report from Falco. If I heard it right, and it was Falco Sidekick UI. So I, yeah, so UI, but I, I was just, I have this uh, question, like if, if we are able to install Falco Sidekick UI using ham commands, then why are we thinking of creating another server? Like why? why we are doing the same work again do you don't you think that would be a same work like like jim even you can uh, agree with me on this type we we have already a falco sidekick ui which is giving us the outputs so if you are fetching those outputs maybe we can use that and produce the policy report at least uh, that or 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 if the idea is that we have to contribute to falco sidekick then we might need a web service otherwise i think ui is also pretty much doing the same job so so, um, I mean, my understanding of this would be, of course, Jim, please add to it, uh, that, you know, web you, uh, taking outputs from web UI is just making, giving a little more, um, so the, what we want to do is make policy generator as an output for Falco Psychic. That's what we are looking into. So that the way uh, Falco Psychic gives outputs to other places, it could give an output as uh, a resource for a policy uh, report. Uh, so I think that's what we're trying to do. We like what we have right now is taking outputs via web view, uh, Falco Psychic web UI, but that's just another dependency that we are, um, you know, working on. So I'm not sure, uh, if that answers the question. Okay. So what, what is your suggestion? According to yeah. So I, I, if I understood correctly, what we're talking about, the web UI is just the deployment in Falco Sidekick, right? It happens to be called web UI, but because it has a UI component, but it's also doing all of the translation work, like when you when it sends messages to Slack or anything like that, right? Yeah, so it, what it is doing, what I have studied in Falco Sidekick, like Falco, uh, when we, we install Falco Sidekick using hem, install Falco and Falco Sidekick and Falco Sidekick UI. So uh, I guess we port forward Falco Sidekick to our local host. And with that, it is visible, the alerts are visible using their web UI. But what we are, what I guess I saw the code that she gave in the community channel. And in that code, I was seeing that she is using http.get to fetch those alerts from Falco Sidekick UI, uh, which is deployed on port 2302. And uh, it's uh, available on uh, route events. So she was fetching, she's getting the uh, outputs, the alerts, the events from there. And then I guess she was in that code, she was mapping uh, those uh, with our policy report and generating the policy report. So that was uh, the working cycle that I could see in that code. So it was something like that. Like for us, uh, when we when we built a Kubebench adapter, what we did was we were using nested job to get our output. So the Falco site here UI is doing the same job with its events route. So if we go to our even like, like in Chrome, we open local host to 302 route uh, events. So that will give pure JSON output of our alerts, all the outputs, the rules, the priority, everything. And uh, the same thing is being fetched in the program, I guess. She was she's doing http.get to 302 right. events. So, so yeah, so that's what I understood. So if we are getting it that those outputs already in real time, then creating another uh, web service may require deployment of that web service inside the cluster. So that will be you know another same kind of job that you are already that Falco sidekick is already doing for you. So that I feel would be a repetitive task, and we can even go ahead with Falco sidekick UI if 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 it's already doing the same thing. I mean that's that's 
that was in my head, like seeing the initial code. I may be wrong, but that if, if we have a different plan of architecture, so uh, that's that's what I said. Engine. Okay. Yeah, let's, we can discuss more offline and kind of uh, figure out where the best place to plug it in is. Uh, but yeah, I mean, we want to simplify it. We, if we can eliminate the dependency to the UI component, that seems like the right approach. Uh, and then we, like we had talked about Anushka, maybe we have to start with how will the user configure this in Falco Sidekick, right? So let's define that. Uh, and, and then once we have the user experience defined, uh, we can figure out the rest of the details. Right, that's right. Okay, that no, sounds good. I bet I think let's, uh, I think it would be good to get that decision made quickly, whether we're contributing to Falco Sidekick or we need to do something separately. So if we can get that decided on this week or so, then at least we know which direction we will proceed to complete the implementation. Right. Uh, I'll I'll work on that as soon as I can. I mean, I'll get to some conclusion as soon as, as soon as I can. Sounds good. Yeah, and let's let's discuss more offline on you know some of these other details. Thank you, much. Uh, thank you, Mrtsenjay. Thank you so much. Thank you, Jim. You're welcome. Uh all right, so I think that's most of what we had. You know, with uh, Stephen has also been in discussions with the. Um, uh, with the uh, with the Trivi as well as uh, the Starboard team in terms of how exactly the adapter can potentially plug in, so we should you know we're also trying to you know finalize where that fits and we'll send out some more updates on Slack for that. Um, so those are the you know sort of ongoing items. I don't know if there's any other. Um, things we should plan or want to do either today or for the next session, but we can open it up uh, to everyone. Yeah, under kind of the open mic topics, um, and this may not be interesting to the whole group, so we can always break it off as a separate discussion, but, um, you know, Anka, I, I have been talking more and more folks, you know, want, now that Oscar 1.0 is out, it'd be interesting to stand up kind of a, a best practice, you know, version of Kubernetes clusters producing the CR, uh, producing the policy output, kind of ingesting that with OSCAL, producing OSCAL output based on that. So definitely not <clears throat> something at the policy level per se, but more of the instantiation of all the stuff we've been talking about and actually the CR using it. Um, so, you know, could touch all these adapters and whatnot. Uh, or could it be much more simple and just a, a, the minimum MVP. But uh, if, if anyone is interested in that, um, you know, I think we can, we can, we can put it onto the Slack channel or we could break it off in a separate Slack channel. But I think that's an effort that there's a lot of interest in out in the, in the broader community. You want to kind of see the um, rubber hit the road. <laughs> you, you are talking about this outside the white paper, just, uh, just an open. I mean, it, it certainly could inform the white paper, you know, if, especially as we roll up sleeves and yeah. <clears throat> so, um, choices, but it, yeah, it would yeah. be parallel. Um, we, uh, we, uh, uh have an, um, uh, opionated implementation of, of the OSCAL framework, um, as open source, it's called Trestle compliance. And um, it's what we have used across um, IBM and with third party integrations to develop um, those reports and, and particularly the translations between you know, current reports to, to OSCAL so that we align with the framework. So um, I think we can, we can see that as you know, a starting point. So people that start using OSCAL, you know, have some some uh, starting point with uh, utilities yeah. that uh, I definitely and, and I've looked at Trestle and, and I think that'll be a, a part of the solution absolutely I, I think the goal here is to get to the finish point where you know a non Kubernetes operator can see a Kubernetes uh, stack uh, cluster and then see all the you know we can even use that exactly the, the exactly. Tool and maybe modify oh, but, yeah this is, this is um, yeah what um, I have today in uh, in the white paper those two uh, use cases that we have discussed. 
uh, the use case of the um, namespace administrator and the interest on having more of an operational view of the of the policies. And then the second one is, you know, from a compliance officer point of view and more of a compliance view of the um, of the results. And that's where, you know, Trestle comes into the picture, taking the first one and, you know, helping to translate it and have it in the in the OSCAL format. I, I hope yeah, to finish today that uh, part and, and, and push it. Uh, I mean, Jim, thank you so much. You, you helped me with the uh the the apps and you know everything is now linked works with git uh and, and so on i i need now to exercise the the you know the push and the commit um okay. and uh, i'm not sure if you, you we take it from there or i need to create a pr from from my environment i, I i'll ping you when i when i get there for now sure. i'm still in editing mode yeah okay great yeah so i, I think the idea is I'm, I'm working with a couple of the uh cloud folks who you know might be willing to set up kind of a cyber range where we, you know, kind of host them. Where are where are they project. from? Which uh, which companies? Uh, well, since I don't have a hard commit, I don't want to put anyone on 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 the record, if you will. So. Oh, okay, I see. So, okay. Still uh, because if, if we you are also anyone, working with uh, anyone's hat yeah. in the ring. <laughs> yeah, you can Im invite to this discussion also Gavredi, um, uh, uh, Greg, um, Greg. Uh, what is his last name? Um, so he he works on on the UI uh, version of of the um, OSCAL implementation. So we we work together so that between the the trestle on Git and the, the UI with the with the database, we we provide a complete experience, right? Depending on the level of uh, uh, so he would be a good uh, a good uh, uh, participant in this in this discussion. Go okay. ready. Yeah, if, I think you have my email. So if you want to just uh, later on when you have a chance to look up his contact, if you just want to loop us all in a thread. Yeah, yeah, we have. A, unfortunately, I'm, I'm, I'll be out the next two weeks, um, uh, but I can I can put you in touch with uh, with Greg and Chris. We have uh, regular meetings uh, on, on on this topic, so we can uh, you can start you know discussing with them. Uh, so uh, your email, I think I have it from this uh, this um, okay, meeting, uh, document just... that uh, that uh, Jim is editing. Okay. I just and I'll put it here. That's there for me. Okay, I'll go right now and, and put you in contact with with. Yeah. Great. So this way so you can it... and kick off the, the 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 discussion at this small scale while I'm off. Exactly. Should we also um, maybe invite the Trestle folks to do a demo and show what you know how that tool works? Would that be of interest? Yeah, oh yeah, yeah, yes, of course. Yeah, we can have we can invite uh, uh, Chris from Trestle. We can invite then um, Greg. Maybe he can give a UI, and maybe by then we will have also the interlock between the two, so we can demo how they work together. Okay. Anka, is that something that you could reach out to Chris and Greg? Well, I'll, uh, I think you know my, uh, email, I'll, 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 I'll send the one email, Robert and, and Jim, okay. and I'll, I'll put all these items in them. So this way you. Perfect. Yeah, so I'll, I'll, take, I'll, I'll take the action item. Once, once you make the intro, Anka, I'll, I'll coordinate with them and try to get them on the calendar. Thank you. For Are you going to be back for the next session or should I push it to two sessions? Uh, it, it it doesn't matter. I think Chris uh, can present with, without uh, me being oh, okay. involved. It's not okay. not a, yeah. So this way we make progress. I think rather align it with Jim's plans for the agendas rather than me being present. Okay, great. I'll yeah, I'll take the once you make the intro, I'll take the extra and get us all hopefully on the schedule for next session. Okay, that sounds good. Yeah, speaking of demos, one thing I just remembered is we had also talked about inviting Frank, um, who has authored the policy reporter tool uh, to do a demo. So I'll, I'll reach out to him and see, you know, when we can get that scheduled as well. All right, anything else?
Okay, if not, uh, I guess we can give back uh, 30 minutes to everyone. Uh, so have a good week and we'll uh, reach out on Slack if uh, anything else comes up. Sure, good. talk to you guys tomorrow. Thank you. All Thank right, you. take care, bye. Take bye. Care, bye. Perfect, thank you for giving some time to work on the white paper. <laughs> All right, take care, bye. Care, bye. Take care.